Well, for those of you who would like a tour of our new facility that's directly across the street from our old facility, here's uh, pictures. And this is the entryway. There's a, you can see there's kind of a cool elevator shaft. And if we go over here, there's an actual elevator. And that goes up to the second floor. And there's the entrance. Here's kind of our little reception desk. So this is all going to be torn out. We're going to put in some big glass walls so you can see directly into engineering, of which I'm going to walk into right now. So this area here, this wall in front of us, will be blown out and will, that's the term the construction guys use, blown out. It's so warlike. Anyway, um, that will extend into here that you can see, and that'll be a big conference room. And then this area, this whole empty area here with the, the cool electrostatic floor, electrostatic discharge floor. This is some pretty expensive flooring because this, this place used to be run by a government operation that did, I don't know, top secret antenna stuff. And you can see that this large area will be our new engineering lab. And it's quite large. It's easily 60 feet long by 25 feet wide. And then along the edge, we have a bunch of offices that you can see. My office will be here at the very corner of the engineering area. And you can look out and see PS Audio. That's where we, you can see it's right across the street. That's our existing building as we move over here. And then you can get another view here of the engineering lab. And this will be where the programmers and the engineers have their desks. And on the other side over here, that's where the big glass wall is going to go. So when visitors come in, they'll see all the engineers working and check up on them. As we go through here, this short hallway leads into the actual engineering lab. Now you can see this big area with the same ESD flooring and its offices. Now there's a break room over there. This will be where all the engineering benches go and all the tech stuff. So engineering lab out in front is the engineering offices. As we go down this crazy warren of stuff, we come into what will eventually be our warehouse. And this, this sucker is really, I don't know how tall that is, probably 50, 60 feet tall. And look at this. Do you see the yellow tape? That yellow tape and that area that you see there, that is where they had uh, an anechoic chamber. And that chamber was massive, 60 feet long. Let me look at this thing. I know there's not much in the way of perspective here. It's 60 feet long, 30 feet wide, all the way up to the ceiling. And they spent a million dollars putting that anechoic chamber in here. And I pleaded with them to keep it. I like, please leave it. I need it. I, I really, we're going to make speakers. And it didn't happen. It's a long story. We, we, we put a bid in on the place. They were happy to give us the chamber. We lost the bid. Somebody else swooped in on the building and paid more money for it. And then that fell out of escrow. And you know how these things go. So when you walk over here, here's one of our freight doors out to the back. And in here is where we will eventually have our tool room. This will be where all the engineering tools, machine tools, mills and lathes and things. And we're going to climb the stairs because this is something that is really beyond cool for me. And eventually, it's going to be beyond cool for you as a PS Audio family member and customer. So as we climb up here, we come up to this space. Let me turn the, turn the lights on here. Now, I know you can't see much. There's the window. This space is about 25 by 30 feet long. There's a stairway that goes up to the, up to the roof here. We're going to get rid of that. Well, we're not going to get rid of it. We're going to close it off. And this area, including this 
office area. Maybe we can back up here and give you a little better view. <clears throat> this will become a recording studio and mastering lab for Gus Skinnis, one of the world's finest mastering and recording engineers. And so PS Audio, in conjunction with the Super Audio CD Center and Gus Skinnis, we will have our own recording and mastering facility. State-of-the-art, world-class, high-end as it gets. And up here we plan to do a whole bunch of recording and, um, oh, mastering, you know, everything that one does up in that. I'm going to try not to kill myself <clears throat> going down these stairs here. So we're going back down the stairs, <clears throat> just so you're, you see it. We're back in the warehouse, and now we go out into another part of the warehouse. This is absolutely huge. I don't even know, I think it's about 100 feet long. Again, the same tall ceilings. And then here's the, the door. This is where the entrance door for all the freight coming in, our, our dock. And then here are various rooms where we're going to store parts and put it all under lock and key so that our inventory stays out of the hands of engineers and things. So out here will be staging. And you see this room here? This room, we, we're deciding now whether we're going to keep it or tear it down. We may tear it down, but this area <clears throat> is, where gonna, is where we're going to build loudspeakers. And this will be the speaker building area. You can see it's not much to look at. And that is right across from where the parts will come in. So we'll, we'll cut a door over here from the uh, inventory area and we'll wheel stuff out. And then we go out into production. This is where everything will be produced, all the BHKs and the Stellars and uh, probably the crossovers and, and componentry for the loudspeakers. So all of the technical stuff, the soldering, and that, by the way, is all over the building. You see that? That is a humidifier. So the entire building is humidity controlled, which is important when you do sensitive parts that have ESD requirements, electrostatic discharge requirements. But this, the same thing, this floor is a very special kind of floor that doesn't cause static discharge and harm stuff. As we move this way, we go over here, and were we to turn left, you'd see all the administrative areas and the lunchroom and big bathrooms and all that stuff. But while I know that's fascinating to some of you, um, it isn't that. Here's, here's another, see it? There's another humidifier for the warehouse. Here's where I get excited. Let's go up these stairs, and I'll show you two things up here, and that'll be the end of our tour. This is a fairly massive building, about 30,000 square feet. So up here, with very tall ceilings, we're going to build a wall all along here and enclose this whole thing in. And this is where two of our three sound rooms are going to be. So these are about, oh, 20, about 27 feet long. And we're going to divide this up. It's about 60 feet wide, 50 feet wide, something like that. So these will make a beautiful pair of sound rooms. Over on the right side is where Music Room 1 with the IRS and all the BHK products are going to be. And over here to the left, that will be an even larger room where we will design all of our loudspeakers and compare them to the Arnie Nudell IRS killer, the reference system. Here's kind of an eagle eye view of the warehouse, the speaker building area. And then up here on the second floor, we're only going to take about a third of the second floor because the building is a bit too big for us, so we're going to lease it out to some people. Um, this area is the sales area. Up here is where all our sales and customer service guys are. And way in the very back 
along there is another big sound room. And that sound room will be the stellar room. And it'll be dressed up kind of like a living room. So when you show up here for, for your tour, you can see you know, back in here, that's where the big guys are. And you can see what you might aspire to someday. And then over here will be what you could actually have in your home if you're like me or anybody else who's just being practical. And then down the hall, which goes on for quite a ways, will be where our least area is. And someday, as PS Audio continues to grow, we will probably kick those guys out and take that over. All right, thanks for joining me on the tour. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.